What's going on YouTube, Giosno right here, so in today's video I have great news for those of you waiting for the check rain jailbreak. Finally, tweaks have been achieved and are working under the check rain jailbreak, which is based on the checkmate exploit, which as you probably know works on the iPhone 10 all the way down to the 4S. Now, there have been multiple developers in our community who posted news about this and of course about their tweaks working on these devices. So as you probably know, back on October 27, the Check Rain official account here on Twitter posted a picture with Cydia and Zebra running perfectly fine on the jailbreak. Now, we did not know at that point whether the substrate or substitute works fine, so no tweaks. But Jamie Bishop posted, quote, whoops, short lock on iOS 13 with Check Rain, needs some fixing. So yeah, there are a couple of tweaks that need fixing and as you probably see in here, short lock is one of them. And then of course he posted this in here, which is a picture of what appears to be a safety message from the substrate. Now this is an important thing because this means that the Check Rain jailbreak uses the mobile substrate and not substitute for the jailbreak. So this is actually an odd decision, especially since the substrate is no longer kept up to date by Sorry, at least not publicly. So yeah, it's an interesting decision in there, but it seems to be working with most of the tweaks in here. But yeah, it's good that they achieved tweaks on iOS 13 nonetheless. Now Sam Bingner, another developer in our community, part of the Uncover team, posted this, quote, what is this tether me loading on iOS 13, hashtag check rain. And he posted a video in which he's able to load the tether me tweak he created on iOS 13, of course using the check rain jailbreak. Look at Tedesco, part of the development team posted this picture today, which of course shows a couple of devices running both Cydia and the uh, installer 5. And of course, at the same time, there's also Zebra, if you take a look in here. And these have all been installed, of course, with the check rain jailbreak, which proves the fact that the check rain jailbreak does in fact have an application which is able to install multiple package managers not only Cydia but as you probably know there will be no Cilio in this in here the uh, check rain jailbreak will only support installer 5 probably Sailey in the future, Cydia, and of course, Zebra. Now, that's not a problem since all of them work the same way. They all install packages, they all install tweaks, and of course, they all remove tweaks if needed, and of course, update them. But if Cilio is what you're interested in, there will be another jailbreak completely different compared to the check rain, but based on the same exploit by Axiomex, and that one will only have Cilio. It has been announced by Linus Henzi. I made a video about it that you can check it out on the channel. But yeah, check rain will not support Cilio, at least not for the moment, because Cilio is closed source, so there is no way for them to include it and they have no control over the uh, source code, so they don't want to include something they cannot update, and of course something that requires cool start to be present before a bug can be fixed. So the CheckRain team will stick to package managers that are open source, for example Zebra, Cydia, and of course Installer 5. Now Sailey is also open source, so it might be included in the future, but yeah, it's a good thing that you have choices. So that application you see in there with the, um, the Checkmate icon, that allows you to install whatever package manager you want. So after you jailbreak, you don't have any package manager, you just have that application in there, which will allow you to select if you want Zebra or Cydia or Installer and so on. So I think that is actually quite neat, but that requires them to maintain various versions of Cydia and so on, so it's of course a lot of work behind the check rain jailbreak and that's why it wasn't released for the moment. It's still in development, but as you can see from the uh, posts by Sam Bingner and Jamie Bishop in here, it's almost close to completion. Now when it will be released, this one will support iOS 13.0 which is currently the latest version available, iOS 13.1.3, 13.2, all the way down to iOS 12.0, 11.0, and so on, depending on what your device supports. So yeah, basically all the versions past, present, and future on the iPhone 10, all the way down to the iPhone 4S. So yeah, brace yourself for the best jailbreak in history, and since this jailbreak cannot be patched by Apple, it will definitely be very good. Now, unfortunately, the iPhone XS, XS Max, and XR are not supported, and neither are the iPhone 11 and 11 Pro. But the iPad released by by Apple this fall was actually compatible because it has the A10 chip, so you will be able to jailbreak that. Thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.